That's pretty decent. Yeah. We're gonna go forage for sea urchins. Welcome back to another vlog and today is going to be another fishing adventure. Uh, actually we're going to go forage for sea urchins. We went last time but it wasn't peak season and now it's December so this is now when the sea urchins are full so there should be a lot more uni inside. We are going to Fort Ross area because there should be a few tide pools that we can explore but before going there we made a pit stop at Bodega Bay to go to the Spud Point Crab Company. We ordered the New England clam chowder and I got the seafood sandwich which is a combination of crab and shrimp and Cora got the shrimp sandwich. All the food was really really good and now we're pretty full so we're gonna get started and drive to Fort Ross. Slight change of plans, the place we were going to Fort Ross was actually closed off and it felt a little bit sketchy going down like a path that has no one looking after it. So we came up to Mendocino instead since it's not too far and there's a ton of sea urchins right now. It's also raining quite hard. Um, it was supposed to be cloudy all day. So there's only like four cars in the parking lot and we're the only people foraging. But at least there are lots of people walking around so I feel a lot more safer. Um, they can see us like I'm not to tell but there are a few people like all the way along the beach and Cora is slowly making her way across the pond. Very exciting because the sea urchins here should be much better than it was back in February. They're all over here at the tide pools. We're gonna pick them and fill up our bucket, our Lowe's bucket, and then go home and crack them open. Oh no, fisherman lamb, you did it. It's currently 2.50, low tide is gonna be at 3.47, so we still have a lot of time until the tide goes down. Our plan is to pick until low tide and then head back because it's scary when the tides are coming back up. We made it! I'm gonna try to pick one up. Ruthless. I know. Sorry, Sirishan. They don't feel anything. I'm so sorry. Ooh. Right here. Yo, it's pretty solid. Take a bite? <laughs> Maybe not yet. Found a pretty good spot with a lot of urchins and picked out this pretty large sea urchin. I'm gonna crack it open to see how it is on the inside to determine if we want to continue foraging here. Pocket knife. You pretty much cut through the mouth. That's pretty decent. Yeah. Pretty good bite. Should I try it? It's pretty good. I think it's better than the last time. Oh, it's sweeter? much sweeter. Oh, nice. And still tastes like a lot of salt water. Mm. That's a fat one. Hi. Quack, quack. Smelly. Smells like farts. Definitely. Yeah, it's a small one. Celebratory to 2022. Oh yeah, salty seawater. <laughs> Pretty good. We spent about an hour here. The tide is going up now, and we have a completely full bucket of sea urchins. We don't like being out there when the tide is going up because it's a little scary. It just gets higher and higher, the waves are stronger. We have way more than enough for the two of us. We gotta change out of our outfits and then head back to San Francisco. How about for in and out first? Ooh, I'm down for in and out. Uh, I'm not hangry, but uh, maybe in two hours I will be. Okay, let's go. Oh, that's a really big one. Big cliffs. <laughs> 
The sea urchins this time, they aren't as big as the ones we got last time, but the uni inside is pretty intact and some of them are pretty sweet. Pretty excited for this, we're gonna make uni, rice, and sushi once we're done here. The system we have going on is I first cut the sea urchins in half over the sink and I give Cora two halves and then she then scoops them out and we have two bowls of water. First bowl, we just dump all the uni there. Later on, we transfer that to a second bowl and then wash it again. And then after that, we put it on a plate with paper towel to dry it up. How are you enjoying this so far? I'm very happy. It's a lot of manual labor for sure, but it's pretty worth it and I love doing this. I guess that's why uni is so expensive, right? Yeah, that's what I'm guessing. It's labor intensive and very short shelf life. Also, you don't know what the yield is in most of your uni until you actually crack it open. What type of sea urchins did we get today? Uh, purple sea urchin. They're generally sweeter and the thing is they're a bit smaller though so that also means their yield is a bit smaller. Like That's this. a perfect piece. And commercial is usually red sea urchins, right? Yeah, they're a lot larger. Their tongues are a lot larger but you have to dive for most of them. Well, I haven't seen them near the shore at least. but. You know, it's okay. We just walked onto the beach and then did our thing and then got our sea urchin. Two full plates of sea urchin. And we still have more left over for maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Very solid. Mm. Oh yeah. Ooh, so good. The uni with the rice is so creamy. Mm. Mm -hmm. So good. We're gonna finish uni and watch some Netflix and clean up. And I'll catch you in our next vlog. Bye! Bye.